Hello everyone, this is Amar Sunone. In this video, I'll be talking about mechanical properties of material. So, first property is the ductility. So, ductility is nothing but the ability of material to be drawn out easily into a thin wire. So, here in this animation, you can see a rod is there which is passing through a die and it can be easily drawn into a thin wire so this ability of material is nothing but the ductility so in case of wire drawing process this ductility is very important property so ma ductile material is said to have good tensile property means they are good in tension the examples of ductile material are mild steel copper aluminium etc now next is the malleability Malleability is nothing but ability to be getting hammered, pressed or rolled into a thin sheet without breaking. So ability to be hammered, pressed or rolled into a thin sheet without breaking is nothing but the malleability of a material. So it is a property of a material to deform under compression and take a new shape. So here you can see a compressive load is applied by this hammer due to which this bolt material is getting a shape. So this property is nothing but the malleability of material. So a malleable material is said to have good compressive property means they are good in compression. Gold, lead, tin these are the examples of malleable material. Next is the harness. Hardness is a measure of material's ability to withstand scratching, wear, abrasion and penetration. Here in this animation you can see this, this material is withstanding the penetration by this lobe. See, hardness is nothing but it is the property of material to cut the another material. For example, see a cutting tool is there cutting tool must be harder than the workpiece material so that that cutting tool can be able to cut the workpiece material that is the hardness of the material so this hardness is of a material is given by the three test this hardness can be determined by the three tests that is the Brinell, Rockwell and weaker hardness test these are the three tests. Next is the elasticity. Now elasticity is a property of a material due to which it will gain its original shape when the load is removed. Here you can see after the load is removed this spring will get back to its original shape. So this is the elasticity property of a material. Mild steel Aluminium, copper, these are nothing but the elastic material. Now next is the plasticity. Here you can see a plasticity. So because of this property, material undergoes the permanent deformation when the load is applied on this material. So this material is undergoing the permanent deformation. It will not regain its original shape or size. That is the plasticity. So it is very important property in case of forging, rolling process. Next is the brittleness. A material is said to be brittle if it break without much deformation. So best example of brittle material is cast iron. Suppose here hammering force is applied onto this cast iron material, then that material will break easily without much deformation. Another example of brittle material is the glass. Next is the toughness. Toughness means it is the ability of material to withstand shock or impact. So here you can see in this example here there is a chisel and hammering load or shock or impact load is applied onto this chisel. So this chisel will resist this load so this property is nothing but the toughness property. So toughness is a property which is opposite to 
brittleness so it is ability to withstand shock or impact load next property is the strength strength means it is the ability to resist breaking under action of external load here you can see a rod which is applied with the external load due to which it will get deformed so ability of this material to resist this external load is nothing but the strength of this material so this external load or you can say strength of this material will depend on type of loading so whether this loading is tensile loading compressor loading shear loading so depending on type of loading the strength of material will vary next is the creep so creep is very important phenomena in belt that is a slow and progressive deformation of material is nothing but the creep with a time under constant force at high temperature so this is a important phenomena in belt so you can see in this image a belt which is passing over a pulley so there is a frictional force between belt and pulley due to which this belt is getting elongated and contracted so this elongation and contraction of belt is nothing but the creep phenomena in a belt now next is the fatigue fatigue is nothing but it is a failure mechanism that involve cracking of material and structural component due to cyclic or fluctuating stress now suppose a material is there and it is continuously loaded with different load so this material will fade at certain load application so that is nothing but the fatigue in a material that failure is nothing but the fatigue in a material so at that load this material will fail so that is nothing but the fatigue so this is all about the important properties hope you understand video thank you for watching